go. Hi everyone, I am here with a Bible reading. I hope you're having a good day. Today we're going to be reading all of Ephesians chapter 6, all of Psalm 70, and Proverbs chapter 24, verse 8. They never give us many Proverbs, do they? Surely do not. Again, in Ephesians, it's mainly the Apostle Paul speaking. Alright, so let's begin Ephesians. Children, obey your parents in the Lord, for this is right. Honor your father and mother, which is the first commandment with a promise, so that it may go well with you and that you may enjoy long life on the earth. Fathers, do not exasperate your children. Instead, bring them up in the training and instruction of the Lord. Slaves, obey your earthly masters and respect and fear with respect and fear and with sincerity of heart, just as you would obey Christ. Obey them not only to win their favor when their eye is on you, but also as slaves of Christ, doing the will of God from your heart. Serve wholeheartedly as if you were serving the Lord, not people, because you know that the Lord will reward each one for whatever good they do, whether they are slave or free. And masters, treat your slaves in the same way. Do not threaten them, since you know that he who is both their master and yours is in heaven, and there is no favoritism with him. Finally, be strong in the Lord and in his mighty power. Put on the full armor of God so that you can take your stand against the devil's schemes. For our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the powers of this dark world and against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realms. Therefore, put on the full armor of God so that when the day of evil comes, you may be able to stand your ground. And after you have done everything to stand, stand firm then with the belt of truth buckled around your waist with the breastplate of righteousness in place, and with your feet fitted with the readiness that comes from the gospel of peace. In addition to all this, take up the shield of faith with which you can extinguish all the flaming arrows of the, one, of the evil one, the devil. Take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is of the Lord, which is the word of God, and pray in the Spirit on all occasions, with all kinds of prayers and requests. With this in mind, be alert and always keep on praying for all the Lord's people. Pray also for me, that whenever I speak, words may be given me, so that I will fearlessly make known the mystery of the gospel, for which I am ambassador in change chains. Pray that I may declare it fearlessly as I should. Tychius, the dear brother and faithful servant in the Lord, would tell you everything so that you may also know how I am and what I am doing. I am sending him to you for this very purpose, that you may know how we are and that we may, he may encourage you Peace to the brothers and sisters, and love with faith from God the Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Grace to all who love our Lord Jesus Christ with an undying love. Amen. And that's where we stop with Ephesians. And now we're going to read Psalm 70 for the director of music of David, a petition. Hasten, O God, to save me. Come quickly, Lord, to help me. 
May those who want to take my life be put to shame and confusion. May all who desire my ruin be turned back in disgrace. May those who say to me, aha, aha, turn back because of their shame. But may all who seek you rejoice and be glad in you. May those who long for your saving help always say, the Lord is great. But as for me, I am poor and needy. Come quickly to me, O God. You are my help and my deliverer. Lord, do not delay. All right, guys, and that was Psalm 70. Another beautiful Psalm of David, of course. And we're ending today's Bible reading with Proverbs chapter 24, verse 8. And it says, Whoever plots evil will be known as a schemer. And I know a few of those. Yes, I do. One very bad one in particular. Don't know. It's sad. I don't know how people could do that. I really don't. But that's people that only care about themselves. All right, guys, let me go over the prayer requests. Please keep the following people in prayer. Sherman Crabtree, Bridget Baltz and family, Cindy and Jim Welsh, Rhonda Karshner, April Thacker and family, Abby Myers and Matthew Simpson, Jimmy Myers, Norman Karshner, Dora Harper, Layla and her son Emil, Melody and Eric Stanley, Garnet Boyer and Jim Mitchell, Tabitha Clary, Randy Post, Jody McWhorter, Henry Reffitt, Judy Thompson, Ray Dunlap, and Elizabeth Jeffries. All right, guys, that was everything for today for our Bible reading. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Let's bring those souls to Jesus, and God willing, we'll see you guys again tomorrow with another Bible reading. Join me here in a little bit for a Bible study, guys. Bye, guys. God bless.